As Notre Dame went up in flames, millions around the world froze at the images of parts of such a beloved structure collapsing. But the efforts to rebuild it are now well underway. And in tonight's Prime Focus, we take you inside a workshop where every piece, even every deformity, is being rebuilt just as it was. Here's our Inez de la Quattara. It's almost like going back in time. This is showing us the, the whole assembly of the truss as it will be once it's finished. At this workshop in Normandy, France, nearly two dozen carpenters are hard at work, chiseling and hammering away, working to rebuild one of the world's most famous cathedrals, Notre Dame. No power saws, no drills. Almost everything is being done by hand. In an effort to rebuild Notre Dame just as it was, they're using the same techniques the original builders used over 800 years ago. So we're recreating identically what was there. So a few of the elements were pits on, so we are also pits on them. Among them, six American carpenters with the rare skills needed for this type of work like Will Gusikoff from Vermont, who packed up and moved to France six months ago. It's certainly the honor of a lifetime. There's a certain amount of, of pressure and of pride in trying to do it right because this is such an important high-profile building. It's been four years since the fire that shocked the world. Notre Dame de Paris engulfed in flames, that famous spire collapsing. Firefighters battled the blaze for nine hours. It's now believed to have been started either by a short circuit or a cigarette, many fearing the cathedral would not stand. To watch it when it was going up in flames, how much work that represented, the heritage of it, needless to say, that was really hard to see. Today, the work to bring the cathedral back to life is taking form. Each step is deliberate, down to the custom-made tools. So this here is one of the axes that was custom-designed and forged by these blacksmiths for the project, and it's actually been stamped with the logo of the architects and the public establishment of Notre Dame. Those axes used to chip at the wood, which was sourced from close to 1,500 oak trees across France. Every log has a number that corresponds to a GPS coordinate, and that is being traced throughout the entire process so that every single piece of wood, we know exactly where in the forest it came from. It's part of the process to rebuild the cathedral's nave roof using no nails, instead joining each piece to the next like a giant puzzle. No significant French building had ever been restored this way before using hand hewing with axes and we're really creating a replica um, down to each particular timber, each particular beam. Everyone is slightly different. We're recreating deformations. It's technically an extremely complex work that we're carrying out. Complex but fulfilling. We were there as parts of the nave were hoisted up by a human chain on either side. Vive Notre Dame, vive la France. That work on display, soon to be transported to Notre Dame on these boats, just like they would have been all those years ago. Their final destination, the cathedral, that iconic building, one step closer to completion. So many worldwide eager to see that building restored. Our thanks to Inez for that. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.